my lords and gentlemen, permit me with the greatest deference and respect to lay at your feet the following genuine narrative. The chief design of which is to excite in your august assemblies a sense of compassion for the miseries which the slave trade has entailed on my unfortunate countrymen. By the horrors of that trade, I was fast torn away from all tender connections. When I arrived on the coast, a slave ship was riding at anchor, awaiting its cargo. My astonishment soon turned to terror when I was carried on board. I was convinced I was surrounded by bad spirits and that they would kill me. Below decks with the loathsome stench and the crying, I became so sick and low that I was unable to eat. I wished for my last friend, death, to relieve me. But soon, to my grief, two white men offered me food. And when I refused to eat, one of them held me fast and tied my feet while the other flogged me severely. Continue to undergo more hardships than I can now relate. Hardships which are inseparable from this accursed trade. On the ship, there were several brothers who were sold in different lots. And it was painful to hear their cries at parting. Oh, ye nominal Christians! Might not an African ask you, did you learn this from your God? Does he not say, do unto all men as you would have them do to you? Is it not enough that we are torn from our country and friends to toil for your luxury? Must every tender feeling be likewise sacrificed to your greed? Our dearest friends and relations to be parted from each other and thus preventing from cheering the gloom of slavery with the small comfort of being together. Why are parents to lose their children, brothers their sisters, or husbands their wives? Surely, this is a new refinement of cruelty, which aggravates distress and adds fresh horrors even to the wretchedness of slavery. <laughs>